Hello and welcome back to Ollie Talks Airsoft. If you're here, it means that you're trying to increase your knowledge of airsoft. And in this video, we're talking about BB sizes. Now, this can get very boring very quickly, so I'm gonna try and keep it interesting. We're gonna be answering the question that actually a lot of airsofters don't know the answer to. Are Japanese BBs smaller than everyone else's in the world? Now, it may sound like a really stupid question, but it's not. A lot of the rifles that I use are gas blowback rifles made by Tokyo Marie, and in Japan, their tolerances are very tight. So it means that actually they are designed around Japanese BBs, and if they are slightly smaller, then it means that it could affect the performance of your gun. So stay tuned. In this video, we're gonna measure a bunch of different BBs and a couple of Japanese brands of BBs. And I'm gonna talk about my preferred BB, what I've probably had the least malfunctions with, and what I would generally choose to run given the choice. The three main brands of BB that I've chosen to test here are ASG Devils, and these are actually made in Denmark, which surprised me. G&G, these are made in Taiwan. Ares Amoeba, again, these are a high quality diamond gray BB. And once again, these are made in Taiwan. Tokyo Marie, original 0.2 gram BBs made in Japan. XL 0.2 gram BBs, also a Japanese brand. As far as I'm aware, probably the most popular brand. Jeff's Super Precision, which are probably my favorite go-to BB. Jeff's Naturals, so these are a, a biodegradable BB, but from the same people that make my favorite one here. Let's talk about how we're gonna measure and how we're gonna get these readings and determine the size. Well, a company called uh, Top Shooter came out with a BB, what's called a BB filter. Basically a, a metal tray with lots of holes in and each, uh, each tray here is a different number and they go from 5.95 to 5.98 millimeters. So depending on what size the BBs are, they'll go through different holes. I believe that Japanese BBs are gonna be slightly smaller. I think that that's true. And one of the reasons that I think this is because this product here is actually made in Hong Kong. And there is a Lalax version of this, which is made in Japan. But that version goes from 5.94 up to 5.97. So the Japanese one is actually stepping down 0.01. In Japan, they're actually looking for smaller tolerances than they were looking for in Hong Kong. So let's have a look and let's see how that feeds through when we actually do the testing here. The last thing I'm gonna say is, when we test this, we're not just looking for what goes through each of these holes. We're looking for the consistency so do we get lots caught in each one, in which case there's gonna be a big variation across the different sizes that we've got? Or do we get, you know, like none of them going through a particular size? That means that they're gonna be consistently above a certain size. If they all go through the next hole, we know that that's a really consistent BB. In the tests, what I'm gonna do is lay it down flat so that the BBs actually aren't being pressed against these holes. I can then pick it up slowly and they will naturally just fall through if that's what they want to do. Now I can give it a little shake and we'll see what the results are. The other way to do it is to actually pour them in, but bear in mind when you pour them in, if a BB does get caught in a hole and another BB bounces on top of it, it's gonna kind of push it through the hole. They're the two ways of kind of testing. So we're gonna be testing the consistency and also the size. Right, enough of me talking. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with the ASG. Okay, give it a bit of a shake. Right. Now, hopefully you can see from this, um, we've got 5.96, 5.95, 5.97 and 5.98. So we've actually got some BBs that have got stuck in all of those different holes. So as far as consistency goes, uh, not very consistent. We are getting a couple getting caught up here.
Again, we're talking uh, ever so slightly larger on the BB size here. Now we're going to try some GMG. These are made in Taiwan. So I would say that looks on the whole to be slightly more consistent, but you can see we've still got one that's caught in the 5.98. So none have gone through the 5.95 there. So definitely not here. We're, we're more up here somewhere. So we are looking at slightly bigger. We do have a couple that have got caught in the slightly larger holes here as well. Let's give that another, another pour. Yeah, we are getting a few getting caught in there. So, possibly just not quite as consistent there, not quite as highly polished. But that does lead to what I think shows sl a slightly bigger BB. Now we've got the Aries Amoeba. These are also made in Taiwan. Okay, a similar tail to the last ones, really. That's, um, it's shown that most of them are going through really on the 5.97. Some are going through on the 5.96 and we do have one that's just got caught in there. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, yeah, not a bad result. Nothing went, seemed to go through on the 5.95 here. filling up much faster there. Even with a bit of shaking, we're only getting only getting a few going through there. So definitely Aries amoebas on the larger side. Now let's try some of the, the Japanese BBs. These ones are the Tokyo Marine. So actually, again, a similar result. Um, they all appeared to go through the, the 9.7 and quite a lot appeared to go through here, but none seemed to go through the 5.95s here. So definitely smaller than the first three that we tried. as expected so far. Actually not many going through on the 5.95 at all. So actually the TM appear to be like really quite consistent here. I reckon if I put some more in the 5.96, quite a lot more are gonna go through. I think we can safely say that um, for the most part, TM BBs are pretty consistent, but actually their size is 5.95 for the most part. Um, there are a few that are 5.96, but for the most part, 5.95. So next up, we have XL, which are another classic Japanese brand of BB. 
Wow. Okay. Well, those are definitely the smallest BBs out of all of them. But, um, yeah. Wow, that's really, um, that's really different. And they are one of the absolute classic brands that you be, you would be using in Japan. Obviously, no worries going through. through there. So we are definitely looking on the smaller side of BBs. Most of these uh, 5.096 uh, are em empty, which means that most of the BBs are passed through, which means that they seem to be about 5.95 or possibly ever so slightly smaller because a lot actually went through on the 5.95 and given just the tiniest little tap on top a lot of these are you know the tap of a bb bouncing off the top is enough for it to go through so xl really really small bbs now we're going to go with the jeff's super precision these are very popular here in the uk and a lot of people swear by these, including myself, I think they're very, very good. Right, well, you can see a big difference there already, but actually most of them have gone through the uh, 5.96, so really, that's um, that's the BB size, so we're looking at the Jeffs being ever so slightly smaller. I've only got 0.32, um, so you could argue that because these are heavier BBs, it's going to be easier for them to go through, but I don't think it should matter too much for the purpose of our testing. So again, what I think we're seeing here is we're somewhere between the XL and the TM. So possibly a little bit bigger than the XL, a little bit smaller than the TM, roughly around 5.95. So that seems to be 5.95 or possibly just a little bit smaller. But obviously bear in mind these are 0.32 gram BBs. So if you think that that's worth considering that they're slightly heavier, then obviously that's something you should think about. Let's see how these actually compare to the other Jeffs, because the other Jeffs were really good, they were really small. Okay, maybe a little bit bigger, but still actually quite consistent. Um, not too many. Oh, there's a couple up here, caught in, caught in the largest, but... Um, the majority have made it through through here, but not through here. Not bad, but the naturals do appear to be a little bit more, a little bit bigger. Again, a little bit on the uh, on the larger side of things and a few strays around here as well. So I'm kind of pleased with the results. Uh, they were a little bit surprising. I thought that actually the G&G &G would have done a little bit better. Um, Jeff's really small. Maybe it's just like the extra polishing that they get on these super precision ones. Maybe that is the difference that it makes. But 
I think from that, um, it seemed like not only were the Japanese BBs on the smaller side, they were also slightly more on the consistent side, with the exception of these Jeff's uh, Super Precision, which are also actually made in Taiwan. Some really interesting results there. Maybe these Super Precision did better because they're 0.32 gram, and you know they were heavier and they were pushing through more. That there is a chance, but I just, as I did the pickup test with it, it seems to be pretty consistent on that as well. I do tend to, to run Jeff's 0.32s uh, through my MWS in the summer months. I've had some like really exceptional results. And actually, um, knowing that something like a Tokyo Marie brand of BB is only going to go up to like maybe a 0.28, then having a very high quality but also small BB that's not going to jam up your system. There's a reason that I think I settled with these as my favourite ones over time. And actually, I tend to use the ASGs and the GNGs and things like that more for kind of plinking or doing testing here in my room. I hope that you guys have found this interesting. I certainly have. What we're going to be talking about in one of the upcoming videos is how to modify your MWS magazine lips just in case you are starting to get some feeding issues. Now, the first thing I would say is before thinking about modifying your magazine lips, you should probably switch over to some ammunition uh, like these Jeff's Super Precision if you can. Obviously, if you're required to use bio BBs, then those naturals are gonna be running a little bit larger, but I don't think there's anything you can really do about that, in which case, um, maybe modding the magazine lips or replacing them is going to be something you want to consider. But there you go. We're all getting smarter with every video. Um, <laughs> if you stuck on this long, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Take care.